Hello, folks. I am here at the courthouse or uh, the jailhouse here in uh, Clayton, and we've got the protests going on behind us. As you can see, uh, people are uh, out here advocating to get businesses reopened, and uh, I would like to go and find out people's opinions and see exactly what they're talking about and what they're saying. So, okay, so we are here at the Open Up Missouri uh, demonstration or protest, whatever you want to call it. Everybody's honking their horns. Uh, I wanted to come out here and document this, so that's why I'm out here. So somebody's on. A, we got somebody on a loud mic uh, over here. I mean, there's just a handful of people. It's mostly people driving by with their cars. You'd think there'd be more people out here. So you got people out here driving around. They got the American flag. Patriots are here. There's some folks across the street. I can't get good audio because there's too much honking. We got a bunch of awesome people here. They're brave. These people are brave for coming out here because the media is going to speak against them, you know? Hello. More people over here, just a handful. Thank you. Yeah, I couldn't make it to Jeff City. So let's see, what does their sign say? Okay, let's see. More testing and tracing than reopen carefully. I like it. What's this gal saying over here? Crisis. So, let's see. It's hard to see. A lot of honking. I'm allergic to negative people. I like that. <laughs> okay, uh, what's your name? I'm Rochelle Douglas. Hold it right up to your lips. I'm Rochelle Douglas. It's nice to meet you, Rochelle. Nice and to meet you, too. Tell us uh, what your uh, feelings well, are. Why well, I'm here? Are. I'm here because I have been saying for probably 20 years that the FDA and the health system is corrupt. Right. They are not treating American people properly. They need to stop with the pesticides, the vaccines, the medicines. It's not a medical system. It is a um, disease management program, okay? Food is health care. Yes. God is health care, yes. okay? <laughs> I'm not saying God's going to come down and fix all our illnesses. No, he left that up to us. Yeah. We're supposed to eat properly. Our bodies are our temples. We are supposed to eat properly, yeah. what okay? Some, what are some ways, if you've ever gotten sick in the past, what are some ways to, that you've recovered naturally? Is there any sort of Oh, all the time. So I what drink a recommend? detox tea every day. Tea. Mostly what you want to do is get organic, especially yeah. tea, because if you've ever seen pictures of how they they pesticide these things, it's... you got to get organic. A tea is a thin leaf. There's no protection. Not to mention, it goes right into the ground anyways, right? right? But organic, detoxing your system every day, keeping your gut biome. Everything is in your stomach. Yes. If your stomach health is good, then the rest of you is going to be good. I, I have it. been in Walmart, I don't know, 100 times around. And Walmart's crazy because they got thin aisles. Oh, sorry. You're fine. And um, people reaching over your carts and everything else, right? Right, yeah. I have people who are immune compromised at home. And I say, if you are immune compromised, stay home. If you're immune compromised, if you which are, which have? which is unfortunately, sadly, the majority of the American people, because of the medications and the food and everything that we're taught to do. Oh, yeah. Again, medical health care is not health care; it's disease management. You ask any of them, how do you get rid of these problems, and they will tell you, "I don't know. Just take this drug, and you'll feel better," which causes more problems in the future. Most people don't know that aspirin causes joint deterioration. That's what I hear. Now tell us a bit more about your reasoning behind being out here and supporting the cause uh, for having Missouri reopened. Well, first of all, I'm a native of California. Okay. I moved here three years ago, and I love it here. I love St. Louis. Woo! I am out and about. I love being here, and I just want the American people to wake up. Wake up, America. It's time to wake up. Cool. And I want to be here to support the people in Clayton. I live just up the street here. And it's very important for everybody to come together, understand what's going on in our world, and say no to the tyranny I that's going on. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your information. All right, so we're going across the street. Hopefully, you don't get hit. Let's go see what these guys have to say. Hi, guys. What's the sign say?
My name is David. I'm uh, starting a YouTube channel called Freedom Fighters Radio just to get information out there so there's a public dialogue and it's not so, so, so much of a dichotomy in the news sources. So uh, tell me some of your reasons. Here, I'm going to have you hold that if you want. Uh, tell me some of your reasonings as to why why we should reopen. Open, yeah. Okay, I don't think that we can wait for testing. We, um, we have a small business where we are um, landlords yes. and our tenants have small businesses. Our tenants have small businesses and they can't pay the rent. And so it's affecting everybody, people that you don't even think about. Right. And I think that Missourians are plenty resourceful and smart. We have a lot of the tools now that we need to reopen, yeah. and um, I don't think that we need to wait for testing to begin the process of reopening. We all know what to do. Nobody wants to make anyone sick to go to the grocery store or to go to the gas station and that sort of thing. We've been doing that now for a month. Yes. So I think it's time to start reopening before, like the Oklahoma governor said, before we have even greater problems with an economy that is failing because of this. Yeah. So. This is why we're standing here today is we think it's time now to take a calculated risk and the people that are most at risk if they need to stay home can, but those who can do need to go back to work Absolutely. and support all the rest of the people that are not able to work. Absolutely. So until, the, until there is um, a vaccine or whatever, but there are treatments now. So that's Almost, the other yeah. thing. So much has changed in a month. Yeah. And so we really feel that it's time to start that process and we want to see the leadership from our, <laughs> from our, <laughs> yeah. we want to see leadership from our, our government leaders from, um, from St. Louis County. How do you feel about May 4th? Uh, the governor said he wanted to reopen everything on May 4th. I think that would be fantastic if he could, if they would go ahead, at least that gives us some hope then. If they need a little time to make sure that they have the guidelines they need for small businesses and to talk to owners, business owners, about how they want to um, social distance or whatever they need to do, that's fine. But I think that that is, is a start and saying indefinitely is a bad idea. So I think May 4th is wonderful. Uh, it, it's a start, and but it needs to be as soon as possible. And what's your name again? My name's Edie Bargan. Edie, it's a pleasure meeting you. My Ver name's David. David, nice to meet it. you. I'm gonna keep rolling. Edie running. We've got Channel 5 out here. Five Alive, I love it. Okay, so these people left already. Hello. I want to see what the signs say. Okay, no economy is worth uh, more than my life. Okay, very good. Minimizing casualties. We're sorry for your inconvenience. Okay, very good. And then let's see this. Okay, land of the free. I love it. Let my people go. Yes, here. Uh, so, my name's David. Uh, I'm starting a YouTube channel. It's okay. called uh, Freedom Fighters Radio. Okay. So, if you'd be willing just to share with us uh, what is your... Uh, what, what brings you out here today? What brings me out is freedom brings me out. Right now we have two people in St. Louis County who are tyrants who are running this St. Louis County as, 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 as tyranny. It is. We have Sam Page and Lisa Clancy who can care less about anyone's freedoms. We do not need the government to tell us what to do. Right. You can give us guidelines. You can give us you know, warnings. But do not tell us what to do. Why is it that people at Walmart can go and, and socially distance themselves, or someone at the Home Depot can social distance themselves, or at a liquor store, but we can't do that at church? Why is it that they are closing down our churches? There is no reason for that. We're standing up for the Constitution. We have a First Amendment right to assemble at churches if we choose to do so, and you also have a right to stay at home if you choose to do so. Absolutely, yeah. So, yeah. So that's we're just we're standing up for our freedom because if we don't stand up for our freedoms now we won't be able to later. Absolutely. So someone has to stand up for for us and so that's what we're all out here to do. So we want to take our government back Absolutely. because we never gave it to them. You know the uh, the Declaration of Independence states that governments are they, they deem their powers from the consent of the governed. Well. I'm the governed, we're the governed, and we have not consented. So this is tyranny. 
and we're fighting against it. Uh, how do you feel about, um, uh, what is it, May 4th? The governor said he was going to reopen Missouri. Is that too soon? Way too late. Too late. Okay. It should have never, he should have never shut the state down in the first place. What should have happened, like I said earlier, give people guidelines, let us know, give us facts, and let us decide for ourselves. If you don't want to go to a restaurant, then don't go. Right. But if the businesses want to stay open, if I want to expose myself to COVID or anything else, then that's my right to do so. It's not the government's right to baby me and tell me what I should and should not do. Absolutely. If you want to stay at home, stay at home, because I know people who need to stay at home, and that's what they do, yeah. because they're at risk, because they have asthma or they have other type of respiratory diseases. I understand that, but I don't have those things, so why should I have to stay at home? Right. So freedom, you know, freedom is not free, so it, it's going to cost something here. I appreciate you being out here. Well, thank you. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Thank uh, you. Would you please state your name? Zena Hackworth. Okay, Zena Hackworth. I, I appreciate it very much. God bless you for uh, being out here. Well, thank you. God bless you, too. Very good, very good. I want to go ahead and grab Oh, that's right. Bag. You're fine. <laughs> you do need the microphone back. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. You got the American flag yes. out. Yes. Okay, I'm still recording. Uh, I'm an independent journalist. I'm starting uh, a, a YouTube, YouTube channel, channel called uh, Freedom Fighters Radio. So I'm still trying to figure out the right name for it, but... Yeah. Pretty much it. Uh, so tell if you, uh, I don't know if you want to hold that or if you want me to clip you up. Um, I was just going to ask you a quick question or I can hold it up to you. Okay. Uh, so let's see, uh, what what are some of your reasons why you believe Missouri needs to be opened up uh, as soon as possible? Basically for the same reasons that Zena, you know, said that, I mean, we, we are the governed. We elect the people that are in our government, although we did not elect Sam Page, you know, because of the, the issue that we had in St. Louis County government. Um, so I am just here to make sure that our freedoms are not taken away, that we've been silent too long and in general, and we need to speak up and let people know we are not the silent majority. We are speaking up and we do not want our freedom taken away and just treat us like adults. As Zena said, give us guidelines. Yeah. We're adults. You know, we can make decisions on what's best for us and our families. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. God bless you for bringing it out here. God bless you. Yeah, it's too. very brave. So you know, let's get the, let's get this dialogue. Let's get this dialogue on some tape. To force the economy to reopen. But you know what? You don't care about people's lives. You don't care yes, about you do. do. What well, here's what you don't care about. You don't really. You do not. Listen, what do you know about the First Amendment? What do you know about the First Amendment? Nothing. What do you have? You ever. Oh, well, I'm right so now. glad you went to high school. Then because you I didn't get a very good education, obviously. So here's the thing. You people you have, have, have so hold on. people in this country. People in people in this country. People in this country are free to make their own decisions. We can decide. We can decide. My decision isn't de killing anybody. You know why? Because when I walk out the do door of, of my door, I COVID. can decide for myself whether or not. If I want to be exposed to that, that's my decision, not yeah. yours. But you're exposing other, other people. Okay, tell me which like, other people. Do you tell me which other people. Please tell me which other people. Okay, what do you feel about secondhand smoking? Tell me, tell me. What do you feel about secondhand smoking? We're talking COVID right now. What do you feel about secondhand smoking? We're talking COVID right now. Right. 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 So oh, tell me, who is that? Tell me, who is that? So tell me, you're talking about the Constitution. So tell me right now. It's a very heated argument, I understand. But I want to find out, Are you guys are nurses or doctors? He's a nurse. I'm a restaurant worker. Restaurant worker. Okay. Now, I lost both my jobs worker. to COVID. Do you have? Are you, well, you know what? Every business has a right to decide whether or not do do? they stand. What do you do with I your life? fight for my freedoms. That's what you I do. Fight for your freedoms. So, That's what pays your mortgage. You know what? What pays my mortgage? I don't have a mortgage because I own my house right out. I don't have and a car payment. I don't have a car payment By because working. I paid my car right out, okay. right well, out of my account. Right now. So, Pardon? Target is hiring. Schnucks is hiring. Walgreens so, is hiring. You can work right hiring. now. The economy is not well, here, closed. Let me, let me well, ask you this. Hold on. You're working in the restaurant. The How has it been affecting you? Business. Both of my restaurants are closed. You have a restaurant. I was laid off from both of them March 18th. What business is closed? Every single bill I have called, every single bank, every Every single credit card I've called, I've said I've lost my job to due to COVID, and they said that's fine. Every single one of them. And they're allowing you to do Every single one of them. Bank of America, Target. Because the businesses that we were serving are Thankfully, now are you getting any unemployment? Hopefully. Yeah, I got my first unemployment check last week. What now? 
because have you talked to your boss? Has he said anything like, well, uh, we're hoping to reopen in a month? Or, so I work at Hamilton Steakhouse. They are currently doing carryout orders from one of their other concepts. They are also giving the employees, they have a greenhouse. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So at Hamilton's, we have an aeroponic garden and an actual farm garden. I worked I in the, it. I worked at the farm today. They've been sending the produce home with the employees. There's over 250 employees. Once now, a week. See, that's a good story. I like what, it. Yeah, once a week they send home a meal for the families. You sign up on an email. They say, "What do you need?" And we say, "Well, we're a family of two, and then we come pick it up." And then the shaved duck is my other job. They're the they're duck. ordering okay, cool. yeah they're ordering uh, grocery essentials through their not caterers. What's the word? Oh my gosh! I'm so distracted. I'm so distracted. No, but listen. I want to say this is listen. I'm here with this uh, beautiful young gal, and she's telling me about how uh, right now her businesses she's working for are actually helping to support the community by helping giving out the food uh, that they have in their community gardens and whatnot to uh, the people who are uh, out of work. So this is a, this is a, now this is a good story. This is what you want to hear. Right, have. right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that not everybody has a boss that is able to help feed them. I'm sorry that not everybody has an employer that is able to help them in some way. But if Bank of America is willing to forgive a debt, yes, yeah. you can make it through. Yes. If you, and honestly, the banks are going to get bailed out. We yeah. all know that. Don't yeah, pay your mortgage. Yeah. Buy your groceries first. Feed your children first. Don't worry about the utilities. Don't worry about the electric. Don't worry about the gas. They're not going to shut off your bills tomorrow right, right. if this is why you stop paying them. Yeah. Now, if you've been in debt for like six months leading up to this, yeah. I don't know if they're going to make an exception. So you said it was Shave Duck and then what was the other restaurant? Hamilton Steakhouse. And so the Hamilton Steakhouse has like a, a garden that they work with? Yeah, Hamilton Steakhouse is owned by Hamilton Hospitality. They're the owners of Vindeset and 1111 Mississippi. I know, but yes, they're, they're yeah. a beautiful couple. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wendy and Paul, they're lovely. Um, literally, I have baked goods from Wendy in my kitchen right now. She bakes them every week for us. Now, this is what people need to hear. It's something, yeah. a good hearted American story about how people are coming together and helping yeah. each other out. You know? Yeah. Not I mean, we, we, <laughs> Not we wanted to. Divided enough, right, you know? <laughs> I know. We wanted to show up today because there are so many people that are going to stay home today because yeah. they're afraid. And they, I don't want to say that they should be. But maybe they should be. I can't even yeah. hug my own mother because she's 60 years old and has asthma, and I don't want to kill her. Well, you're taking the right precautions. I mean, it, just like uh, if you anybody with the flu, anything like that, you're not going to go just. And this, people, and so this right. is what kills me about the comparison with the flu: is the flu will not hospitalize you. You can t you can go to your doctor and you get an antibiotic and you're done. Right. But you know, one of his his COVID patient was a guy who. They told him to to just deal with it at home. Yeah, Don't go into the hospital; oh, you'll okay. get sicker. And then he wound up getting dehydrated, and he wound up in the hospital anyway. Anyways, yeah. And the dehydration almost killed him before the COVID did. It's not just COVID; it compromises your system and makes you weaker to everything else. Absolutely, yeah. Well, I appreciate you uh, being thank out you. here, and thank you for expressing that. And that's a beautiful thing. I hope thank that you. they continue to uh, help out the community, and They've been hopefully awesome. you guys get open up soon so you can. Right. Uh, get back to work as long yeah. as this whole COVID blows over. We we have we have plans right now. I was talking to Paul and Wendy about it today. The plan is we're gonna wait for the CDC to tell us what the proper spacing is, right. and then all of our dining rooms will be changed accordingly. If okay. we have to keep our tables six feet apart to keep people safe and yeah. still feed them, that's what we're gonna do. We have every intention of reopening, but not at the cost of people's lives. I love it. I love it. You made your point. Thank and you. It's, it's been documented. I appreciate the help. Thank you. And thank you for being out here. Because we have to create a dialogue. We can't be this a divided country. We can't be right. divided America. Right. And it can't be a silent half hiding in their homes <laughs> from the angry majority who's willing to risk whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's wild. You know, it is a wild, wild time. Wild time. Okay, cool. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Why don't we, we have changed all I am, the speed limits I down am. to 25, and no one would ever Okay, we're going to let them talk. We'll be, we, we will be back in just a minute. Thank, thank you, beautiful folks. I love it. <laughs> they, she had what is some, your name? Uh, David. David, okay. Yeah, and she had some, some wonderful stories she was telling me about how the company she was working for, uh, the restaurant industry, she's been getting hit herself. Stay home so that you don't get, <laughs> get exposed to COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> you can't worry about it. Uh, but she was telling me some wonderful stories about how yeah. uh, the co the restaurant she works for has a community garden and they've been sending foods and vegetables home with her and they're hoping to reopen and 
they're taking they're going to take the steps necessary i guess to uh six feet and all that stuff to, to oh so them. she's a hypocrite is what you're saying <laughs> well <laughs> she is, no my, no listen, no 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 she's right out there telling people they shouldn't be going out nobody and no one said that they were not going to take precautions no one right. said that we need to keep everything open and not do take precautions what right. we're saying is you may put people back to work and let them know what the precautions are. Yes. Let people know that they need to take certain da, 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 and let them decide for themselves. And they say, OK, so she's a hypocrite. Basically, and it's hypocrisy <laughs> because you can't say you can't you can't say, well, you shouldn't be here and you shouldn't be doing this. And then but I'm waiting for my job to open but so go that I can Depot, go back. Go those, yeah, yeah. It makes no sense. That, it yeah, makes my, no my job, sense. My job's not coming back. I'm, what What are you working at? Well, I work on a study. Uh, medical research study and uh, we interview people in homes. We're not allowed to do that. I want to hook study. my other mic up. Hold on for one. I do. It's a social research study. Okay. And, uh, oh, my voice is gone. But, um, okay. yeah, I do. So you're, so you're doing medical studies and you said you can't do it anymore because? Because, of course, we can't go into people's homes. That's how the studies are conducted. I see. The so interviews are conducted. So you can get back to work. Well, if the study's still there, you know, you don't know how many jobs will be lost permanently. Yeah. Um, the restaurant business, you know, she's saying her restaurant's going to be open. How does she know it'll she ever know. open again? It's yeah. a personal decision. Yeah. Again, people, people have personal decisions to make. If you work in a restaurant That's what freedom is. and yeah. you yeah. do not want to go in, you can let your boss know. You take, you take whatever it is whatever uh, means necessary. But people have to go to work. People are dying. People are losing their homes. And every yeah. lot for a virus. Yeah, for absolutely. a virus. This, is, this makes no sense. Yeah. This makes absolutely no sense. Because why is it, why did they, when, when Ebola came out, came to the United States, nobody did all nobody of this. No one shut anything down. No shut anything H1 down. Yeah. When H1N1, I have yeah. a son who had, was in the hospital because of the H1N1. Driven? I don't, I can't say that it is or is it, not. It's just, it's just ridiculous. It, I, there are people who are, who are making decisions who aren't yeah. thinking this through. I shouldn't, add, I shouldn't add my personal opinion in, but I think that there's some, I think that the left has been using this to oh, yeah. essentially, They've been politicizing it, you know? They have been. Yeah. It started out with bad information. You know, these sky-high predictions of dead and, and Americans. China lying, of course. Yes. Right. And so they scared us all into submission briefly, but we've now figured out. I'm sorry. I've never been you... scared into in submission. I've been leaving my house <laughs> no, ever since. No, I have too. Of course. So I, I have, I, I've been going out wherever it is open, I'm there. Yeah. Almost, yeah. almost every day. I am not going to let someone just stop me because, you know, they're sitting up in their little mansion deciding what it is I can and cannot do. You know, we went to the governor's mansion in Jefferson City today. And oh, you were in Jeff City. I was in Jeff City today. Was it big. was wonderful. It was a wonderful turnout. But I went there today, and when we got to the governor's mansion, they had some a gardener on the grounds. And he was out there working. He was out there working yeah. while there are other people on the other side who are looking to work, and the governor needs to wake up and say, hey, look, we need to let everybody get back to work. Yeah. And I don't think that man had a mask on. No, he did not. <laughs> he did I not have a mask. <laughs> okay. Ladies, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for being out here. It's very uh, bold of you, you know, and well, thank keep, you. keep up the good work. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Trump 2020. Yes. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, God bless you. Yeah. Hello, what are your guys' opinions about the whole shutdown and everything? Hi. Hi, I think that individuals can think for themselves and we're human beings and we should be able to make choices about our own health. It is not the place of government to impose their ideas and their regulations on every aspect of every human being's life. I believe we know how to keep ourselves from breathing on each other. I think we know how to keep ourselves from sneezing on each other. I mean, for crying out loud, we are not two years old. We can do this ourselves. We don't need the government to strip away our livelihoods, our jobs, our businesses, completely destroy our country's economy and every and every and so many people's lives. We don't need that to happen because no matter what, 
People live and die with diseases all the time. That is a natural thing that happens in the world. That is a natural course of nature. We are part of the earth. We are supposed to take care of the earth. We're supposed to take care of ourselves and we're supposed to take care of our families and we can do it ourselves and we don't need the government to tell us what to do. How is, personally, how has it been affecting you? Are you in like restaurant industry or anything? Yeah, I, I do in the restaurant. So the first few days we we lost with the hysteria. People were scared to order food. And so for four days, we lost about $400. And then after that, people were like, oh, people can, we can still order food and we don't have to breathe on anybody or touch anybody. We can just get our food and leave the counter or we can get our food dropped at our house and then go. So um, I think fear and hysteria is so much more dangerous operating from that kind of a mindset because then people are clouded and they don't make wise decisions. Right. People need to operate from confidence, from faith, from self-respect, self-esteem, and any, 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 um, any encouragement that they can get from, from other people. You know, that's what they need right now. They don't need fear and hysteria. They need faith and they need sense, common sense faith to get through it all. That's right. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. My name is David. I'm shooting out here. I'm starting a new channel on YouTube, Freedom Fighters Radio. Good so for you. It's Good just to dialogue everything and get uh, the truth, you know, and not That's fake right. news. Because <laughs> right. I can't deal with fake news anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we made it through the Clayton protest and uh, um, got some good uh, opinions from people and some good information. So uh, thank you for joining us today. And uh, hopefully uh, there'll be some other type of uh, event we can come out to and get more people's opinions and, and um, keep making America great the way that it is. All right, God bless. Reporting from Clayton at the uh, uh, Open Up Missouri protest. This is David for Freedom Fighters.